Hello everybody, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Coliseum. I may or may not be joined by Uriah of Cold Colony. Hello. I am. Today, we're going to be continuing New Game Plus of Capsule Monsters Coliseum. Now, New Game Plus is the exact same thing we've done, except we're going to do things not necessarily differently, it's just... Now that we got our symbol maxed out, we got a bunch of new creatures, we can kind of poop a dookie on people a little bit easier. And poop a dookie in is a good dookie. He get the dookie on him. Now, it's still the same campaign, same same uh, sequence and all that other bullshit. But the poop a dookie in the shop does update a little bit. A little bit. Um, everything carries over, which is super nice. Which means we could kind of buy out a bunch of fucking kaijus and all that other bullshit. Nope. We already have five of that monster. And the best thing is, we could just kind of... Everything's so cheap in the beginning, can't get any more of those. Oh, wait, 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 you don't have enough points. Shit. Ooh. Gimme. Oh, we don't have, we don't, can't have any more career ball. Can't select any more. All right, we'll take twenty-seven. Fuck yeah! What would you like to do? Wait, I have one hundred and one. What do you mean I can't select anymore? Oh. Yeah, probably your storage limit. No, there's no. It's infinite, almost. It's just we literally like can't do? afford any creature that we actually needed to. Because now, if we go to manage monsters, the we get a fifty-card deck, which I can tell you weren't paying attention in our series. But we get a 50 card deck. Right? And these are just mm -hmm. the cards we take with us. But we can have five of each monster at all times. And the pages are infinite. It's just a matter of getting them all. Mm. So. How many we... times have you actually gotten them all? Because I know you've played this game a lot of times. Enough that I don't remember. So mm. a lot. Um, Black How strong is Magician of Black Chaos in this game? Pretty fucking good. He, he evolves from Dark Magician, which that episode was pretty fucking. It was pretty dope. Not gonna lie. We poopy dookie down a person. But now we got is that, like. Is that when you beat Pegasus, or was that later on you did that? It was later on. It was I was battling Merrick for the second time. Mm -hmm. Which, if you haven't seen the series, what are you doing here? Go back to the episode one. Go watch the series. And then come back and watch this. Crazy people. But anyway. I'm going to assume you came like back. to skip into the ending. But then cool. again, this is beyond the ending. This is New Game Plus. Yeah. This isn't even... Uh, this isn't even the end. This is this is the beginning of the end. This is the beginning of the beginning of the end. Don't tell to us yourself, okay? I'm okay. So, what we're going to do is... We still need the face of the Forbidden One. But we're going to work on getting the Forbidden One. We're going to get the Forbidden One online. What about the Guardian? What, guardian of what? Oh, yeah, we don't have the other two. So some of the cards that you need to unlock it are... Well, actually, if I go to page 5, I could probably, like... So, Parrot Dragon. I was going to call it Carrot Dragon at first. <laughs> um, we could take this one out. But, yeah, we got... I'll probably put them in. Because we got Sujin, who we'll actually use, because he moves in a plus and then attacks around. Um, we'll still need another Thunder Dragon, so we can't really use you. Leveling him up would be nice. So we did get this for beating the game. Um, some of the other cards you can get is like Red Eyes, so that's pretty dope. Uh, oh, we got Destroyer Golem, too, from the very last mission with Pegasus, and he's OP. Well, I should say OP. But he, don't, he doesn't... He, he has... In the actual card game, he's not really that intimidating, though. He's just average. Even in this, he's not like, Holy shit! He's more like, Oh shit. Because he's fairly decent. Well, doesn't he, if I recall, have like 1100 attack and 2000 defense in the actual game? Something like that. He's a level 5. He's a level 4 5. I don't really remember. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm the Great Stone Soldier. Or he's not in this game. I don't think he's in it. The, uh, if you guys don't remember, that was the card Yugi used to beat Mako somehow. Somehow the, he fucking just stabbed the moon with that card. 
So yeah, we have two out of three of them. We have Kajin and Sujin. It's just the Great Saga of Thunder, or Saga of Thunder. You get that card by beating the game. So literally, um, you would have to beat the game... Uh, five, You'd 10, have to beat 15, it again? 20, 25. You'd have to beat the game almost 30, 30 times to get five of each of the cards that actually belong. But you would technically have to do it 35 times realistically because you would have to get five Saga of Thunders and then uh. Kajin, Sujin, and Saga Fuse into Gate Guardian. Oh, so that, 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 that's like the hardest one to get complete, probably. More or less, just because you have to beat the game to unlock Saga of Thunder. The other two come through the campaign. It's just Saga is only available through victory, along with like characters like Red Eyes. Um, so, because I know we're not going to lose, like, it, it's impossible. Not even Duke Devlin can beat us again. <laughs> now, you mean, no, we'll no. beat you again. <laughs> like, like I said, if he if he beats us again, we got some serious fucking problems. Alright, I'm just going to throw that out there. We got, just don't we got find really a corner issues. if he does it. Oh, I probably will. <laughs> honorable Spooku. But, that's that's beside I the point. I think believe in Honorable Spooku. I do believe in Honorable Spooku. How about Harakiri? Uh, is that murder? No. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have sounded so excited about that either. Oh boy, it's Joey! Again! Look at him! Look at the schmuck! <laughs> he thinks he's gonna win! We could, like, I remember one time I had, like, is a max. Did they actually out. raise difficulty in this game? No. Damn, son. No, it's it's all the same, sadly. Like as the game progresses, the bots do get smarter. Like I've watched people like struggle with Merrick, Odeon, and then the here and the King's Coliseum. I literally only struggled on Duke Devlin. But you know what? It be like that sometimes. It be like that. So I'm thinking I need to view his. Actually, I think we have a Fire Reaper in our flanks. I don't know. It's not that strong. Fire Reapers are, like, less... They have, like, 170 HP, right? So it seems like you didn't make a Flame Swordsman yet. Not yet. So I'm thinking... What do we want to level up? Right? Like, Thousand Dragon's almost completely leveled up. Barrel Dragon? I'm thinking Barrel Dragon. Barrel Dragon OP. He's, a, he's only level 2, though. Level 2 and 9, but yeah. Um, I was thinking, like, if he didn't move in a diagonal, he would have been good. Uh, we don't have enough points for them by 1. <laughs> and then this would leave us with 8. I kind of want to have 2 monsters as a backup, so I'm thinking Barrel Dragon. Right? Yeah, just finally. What? Like, what? it might take like two attacks, but I'm thinking with the help of a special furball, which would be our Karibo, which not just any Karibo, our level four Karibo, who does have his ability. At level three or four, he gets his ability. So perk, if they're not leveled up enough that like, you know, like. This is oh wait I could I could get the level six one fuck yeah I don't know why I thought I didn't have enough for it uh, actually no we want to level up our weaker one a little bit even though it would cost more monster points in the long run it's okay because Karibos rule the world eventually right and the best thing about Barrel Dragon is he moves in two and attacks in three. Which means every other turn, Barrel Dragon will get hit by something. And if I kind of keep him in, like, mid-range, he could stay out of a lot of dookie. And he'll have one free hit and the assistance of a Karibo, who will be our human meat shield. Although both of them will have a shield, so theoretical meat shield. And we start out with max HP or AP, just because we have the uh, like 
our our uh, 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 symbols maxed out. Sim symbol be good is what is what I say. Do do as I say, not as I did. Okay, shut up. <laughs> No, you're not. You're not gonna show me shit, Junior. I will literally tap that ass faster than you can release all your monsters. Which is a lie, but don't tell him that. Oh wait, we don't want to do that yet. Oh wait, what's your ability? Increase the attack of all friendly dark units by 30 points. Huh. All right, so we'll get Barrel Dragon a shield, right? And then he could still move. But the thing is, we want Joey to come to us. We want to stall a few turns because we want our Karibo and Barrel Dragon to be shielded with perfect block. We just want to make sure they go in, they poopy dookie on one, two of them, and then we take some damage, right? Like they're ooh intimidating, you know what I mean? Like I don't give a shit. Okay. And then we SPA ourselves. Sadly, Perfect Block does not stack either. It just replaces the one that's there. I know from sad experience. So the thing is, we're just kind of chilling. It's a 2v4, but we outpower him. Because of the ability of shielding. Turns out, pretty good. The funny thing is, the Karibo could still be 2-shot. But because it has a shield, it would be 3-shot. Uh oh, yeah. It's like he never saw it coming. Lol. Poor Joey, though. He's the tutorial man who gets put on a map completely against him. Well, I mean, and not never you get me to the tutorial guy. Like, Trishan's sometimes the tutorial guy. So, if I go here... Alright, so we'll just... Ooh, like move up one. Is there any version of Joey that's actually hard? Um, if you jerk him off enough. That's not what I meant. You sick bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you actually even face Joey after this no. again? No, he's it. All right. Well, uh, funny he's enough, just, this thing dies. He's just so. there to get shit on. He's wow. there to, to be a tutorial. Like, all in all. Feels bad, considering he's like the guy who always gets the, the bronze medal in Yu-Gi-Oh. You know what the funny thing is? I literally, without taking a hit, have successfully wiped out one of his monsters. And what makes it even better is, his next monster that moves up attacks the Karibo for zero damage, and then also gets wiped out. <laughs> like, I, I, I literally zigzag between wiping them all out as they move towards me. Now, that was actually smart, because now I have to move Barrel Dragon up one, but Karibo stays where he is, rather than moving Karibo. Like, the thing is, next turn... That thing doesn't even touch me. Neither of his monsters hit me next turn. It's a fucking 2v4, man. And now that the water goes up, he's gonna have to be super careful. Because now that now that left side, that Reaper is gonna be weaker if it doesn't come in front. So wait, is Merrick like the only one you do rematches with? Merrick, Pegasus, Kaiba, Ishizu... They're the only ones. It's kind of funny that none of the ones you thought, other than Duke, gave you a hard time. I mean, all the ones that were supposed to just didn't. But, I mean, it'd be like that. I remember you were so fucking worried about ODM. I was. Like, there was a lot to worry about. Like, we were watching a playthrough of a set of YouTubers. It took them three fucking attempts. Like, these people aren't easy that I refer to. It's just, I made him look easy. <laughs> and they didn't make all the smartest moves. No, they did not. So, well, I mean, enough. 
Well, Duke Devlin made the smart enough move. <laughs> Duke Devlin had a team that's super cunty to battle to begin with. Alright. So, literally, we take one legit hit. That's it. That's all it takes is one legit hit. And that's on Karibo. Karibo literally takes one hit this entire match. One legit hit after being shielded. Ooh, and Barrel Dragon levels up. More health, more bonus AP, and more attack. Sweet. So he's just going to move his Fire Reaper and attack Karibo. The only thing left for him to do. Yeah, well, it's funny that the Karibo still gets two shot most of the campaign to begin with. It was a lot of damage, but it did survive. That's the positive way to look at it. To be honest, I might have been able to cheek the system a little bit that when he took that hit, instead of moving him up like I did, I probably could have moved him or left him where he was. Because I don't think they were close enough. No, they wouldn't have been close enough this turn either. Um, I probably could have just left him where he was. I just gave him another shield, rather than Barrel Dragon. It was just, honestly, I thought there was going to be more attacks than that. I just kind of played the system better. Victory! Player! Woo! So, get high on life now. Um, so these, for these episodes, they will be longer episodes. Uh, just because I'm going through the entire area first, before I end the episode. So they might be 20, 40, 60... About an hour. Give or take. Hour episodes. And the only reason I'm doing that is for half laziness. Um, Alright, we got five Fire Reapers. Can't do anything else. That means every time we battle Joey in the future, we'll just never be able to collect anything. Uh, we don't need to save. Continue game anyway, yeah. Um, but the only reason being for that is just because... Uh, I want to be able to do section by section in New Game Plus, and then you can watch, give or take, as much as you'd want with it, rather than, like, bombarding a bunch of episodes like I did when we had Budokai Tekaichi 3 with Mission 100 and the campaign. Because there was, like, it's like a whole, like, that's like a, like, how teenagers go through phases, that was like a phase for my channel. Like, I want to switch it up uploads, as you'll see in the future coming, because this will be out long after. So, you'll notice, like, Phasmophobia, Capsule Monsters, um, we started recording ARC, I don't know when that's going to be out. But that kind of gives you an idea of things that I know that are going on. The legend, you say, Fudo. <laughs> I like how, even though Tristan and Yusei are like two separate people, <laughs> their voice, like this, it's the same voice actor, they still relate personality different. Like, Yusei sounds more confident and like, I'll just beat your ass here and now. And Tristan's like, yeah, let's fuck him up. Like, it's two <laughs> separate types of beat his ass, you know? I guess that's what I'm trying to get a question mark. Um, so how do we want to do this one? We need... Let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, I was thinking we just kind of... Like... Hmm. Parrot dragon, maybe? I don't know, I kind of wanted to do one lightning... And one uh, wood, grass type. But the thing is, I don't really have creatures that are uh, that powerful, per se. We do need to level up the scorpion, so we will put in the scorpion as well. And then we'll put in, I guess, the exodia leg or a Karibo? Maybe a pet moth? We don't really have lightning backup. So I would want to shield one of my 
I would want to shield my um, my lightning dude because he could probably smack the shit out of one or both of them. But I just want to keep him safe because oh well, he's backed up by the scorpion. It's probably more for the bug. But even so, it's like he has like yeah, we'll put him here. Like he'll probably get over there in no time. And then we'll put you here. And then you'll be the assistant, making your sweet ass time over. And then we'll put the Karibo in the middle so he can give each of them a shield. Because Papa Roach is just gonna beat the fucking Moth's ass. Like, there's there's no simpler way to put it. He's just gonna beat his ass. And then we're probably gonna have it's Max a AP for a while. Like, that's the, the two things in New Game Plus that some people might underestimate. Is the amount of base AP that you have. And how much, like, your monsters cost. Whereas late game, it's like you start with 300. You summon, like, two, three monsters. And then you summon, like, another portion of your team. And it's the bonus AP that you rely on later on. Where early, it still plays like that. Like, even for him, like, he has 170 to start, but he still summons all four of his monsters with it. So it's not like he was suffering from the beginning. But if he had, like, six monsters, he would have needed, like, that extra AP that he got to 300. To, to kind of make more sense of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him the shield because him and the scorpion move the slowest so if I move both of them now this thing moves by three or four it moves by four so by next turn when I shield it um, I won't be able to move him anyway but they'll be as far as he would have in that one turn rather than my slow units being two turns behind it's just he's on par and we're kind of moving in sync, you know. Also, okay. the placement of that kaiju is super fucking unsettling. Because there's a short section right here. Or, yeah, actually it's right where it is. If it moves right here and doesn't move, it can literally stand in my area right now. Like, in two turns, it can move into my section. Just through this diagonal. And that's one thing that throws a lot of new players off. Because sometimes, like, they're using the scorpions and, like, bug like I do. And they're just like, oh, diddly 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 do. And then they just fucking, that kaiju thing just jumps the wall and starts busting ass. Like, it starts busting a heavy nut on your symbol. And you're like, what the fuck? How did it do that? And then it just cuts through the corner. That's one of the few ways that, like, bots could be cheeky is because... Like, its initial movement should always be there. But if there's no full opening, it might not go over there at all. Okay. So I'm just going to leave the Karibo behind just because I want him to... Uh, I want the Karibo to guard. Because I don't want him getting poked down over here. And now we wait. Literally, Papa Roach will just wait there. Until they get close enough that they're one move away. And then he'll back up one and I'll bait them in. Because literally next move they'll be on top of me. So I need to stay out of diagonals with my next move. That's the thing about this one. So he'll literally be able to attack... that spot so literally moving here I'm untouchable and then if I move right here I'll be untouchable okay so like if I moved right here he's just gonna move in and he's gonna boop me but if I don't move and he moves his two spots He'll be right next to me where I could get the first hit. And that's if he even does it, to be honest. He might just move one spot. And then move two, for all I know. Oh shit, he actually did it. He actually moved up, too. 
Okay, so that thing's dead. Everything is going to be all right. That is right. Everything will be fine. Cause I I two tap, fucking pet it mods, and I have twice the amount so of HP. I think that wasn't even special. One sixty. Yeah. Well, I'll probably be three shots. Wow. Fucked up. You saying it wasn't special? It wasn't a special attack. It was just me attacking. Alright, let's see if we can one-shot it. Yep. Uh, yep, that's neutral. Oh, time out. Time out. Nope. Sigh, bitch. Bitch lasagna? Bitch lasagna. Bitch, bitch lasagna. And then the Karibo... I wonder... No, because he only gets, it moves in X's of two. Actually, if I get him here, can I get him here? No, it's impossible for him to ever be on that tile. Literally impossible just because of where he was starting to place. So starting placement is key to moving units around. I'm Special. Up until the very end. That's nice. I'm glad. You sound like a real Yusei, but just without being Yusei, you know? Because you dookie. <laughs> So, here's the question. Oh, never mind. He moved. He moved his other pet moth. If he didn't move it, he literally if he didn't move that pet moth, he would have moved it and attacked me first. And the real question was going to be, does it take two hits to kill Papa Roach? Because if it did, he would have won that exchange. But he moved it, so you know, there's that. Do I still have my bonus 20? Yeah. Hey, and I can one-shot him. Easy win. To be honest, with the way I moved and played, I didn't even need the fucking shield. I just need to get this thing level 2. I think it's level 2 that matters. So what's this moth doing now? Symbol goes into the corner. And that thing comes back. Okay. Literally, I'm just moving one spot because you can't do anything for me right there. And we're gonna go fuck up your symbol. Have no fear. Just gonna go fuck up your boo shit. I keep the grid on just so I could see. Uh, specifically in count tiles. I could probably count tiles without it. It's just... I'd rather count tiles, thank you. I wonder what's gonna happen first. I KO his symbol, or I fucking wipe out his Pettit Moth. Because I get an attack on Pettit Moth here. But the thing is, if I don't one-shot his symbol, I get to choose, and choices are always fun. I'm sorry. Shouldn't have been a bitch. Okay, so I'm I'm literally wiping out his creature. Because I don't want to waste two turns trying to fucking get him. Oh, that's not nice. Well, I can't do anything any ways. Otherwise. Why not just destroy a symbol? Because it's going to move out of my attack range next turn. And I'm not going to waste two turns to do it. Like it's gonna go back into the corner, and now I can't hit it. Oh. So it would take three hits to kill it. Sweet! It would have taken three hits for the Pettit Moth. I would have won that exchange. Sweet shit, good to know. So yeah, I said Papa Roach was good from the beginning. There was a reason I, I destroyed it, like I gunned it down as soon as it fucking spawned. And that will be this battle too. Literally, that was like 12 minutes, so we're making great progress, given given the odds. I am well, you do have a lot better units than you when you did the first place. That is true. Alright. Easy. And I think 
if we get 17 points, he levels up, so that's pretty cool. Like, that's just an overall okay bug unit. 26, holy shit. Oh, look, he's got Wood Gift, which is his heal ability. Defense, health, and bonus AP went up. It's really good. Can't, can't have any more of those, can't have any more of those. Can't have, oh, we could take a Kaiju. See, after a while, once you get five of every unit, <laughs> can't take anything from them, can you? So we are going to save uh, this time. We are actually going to save. Because our next opponent is Duke Devlin, and I have a mild PTSD, so... <laughs> Not to anything specific, it's just... Meh, like, never mind. I have a bit of an exaggeration to Duke Devlin right now. Because he's the only one I lost to, and even though I have stronger yeah. units, I don't really care. <laughs> it, it, you I are suffering care. what they call is trauma. It's not trauma. I only lost it. It is once. trauma if you're nervous about this, even though you have the advantage. Trauma's not nervous, no. it's anxiety. You have anxiety, though, too. There you go. That's all. Trauma would be I wouldn't even battle him because I'd want to avoid it so bad. That's trauma. Alright, I have an anxiety. One and the same at certain points. Some of the trauma would still consider it, depending how bad the trauma is. I never said it was horrible trauma. Shut up, you. We're just the gonna beat his ass, alright? That's all there is to it. <laughs> I think the fact is that he stained your, your, your flawless your flawless record. My flawless victory? Yes. He stained my flawless victory. <laughs> he also gets to go first this time, too. Oh, man, it feels like a repeat. <laughs> Alright, um, so he's got dark Don't units. let it be a ooh-what-you-said moment, okay? Probably won't be. Couldn't imagine it. Um, Thousand Dragon. Maybe. I kind of want something... A little more oomphed. But I kind of want more units more good, right? That's where I'm at. Like, Parrot Dragon, good. Because he could just move in and fucking shit. Um. And then we want, like, a bunch of tiny, tiny units that just beat his ass while he's doing shit. Actually, fuck the Parrot Dragon. I got an idea. Where's the Parrot Dragon? Fuck the Parrot Dragon. I got a great idea. We're just gonna goon his ass. This worked on a lot more difficult of a person, so I'd imagine this will work flawlessly on him. Alright, and we're also going to use the Exodia piece. Because... And we don't need shields, so I want to level up... Actually, give me that. We're going to level up our... These two. As much as possible. They're going to get gooned, but oh well. <laughs> So, the strategy behind this that worked was just, these bird things are fucking tanky. Alright. So, the map benefits light creatures, but these tiles that have, like, the light on them, admit lightning. I want them on every other space. Uh, just because I want the Karibos between them. Except for this one. I want these two next to each other. And then you could be in the back. So these wind monsters should be fairly tanky. Like, three hit tanky. And we're at a neutral kind of fight here, so. I know they don't do damage too much, so I have to rely on, like, the Kribos or something, but... I mean, these are weaker monsters after all, so. Like, they did, like, I think it was, like, 60 to something, or, like, 50 to something with, like, 200. Which, usually, you'd want to do, like, half its health, so. I mean, they might not be the strongest, but they're definitely going to be okay. 
That's the sickening part, is that he could summon all of his monsters at once. He gets the whole brigade online. Oh man. See, if I win this one, I, I prove my... Like, I'm already 400 to 450 AP, so... If I could summon all of them this turn, I should have no problem doing it next turn. So, you were saying if you win this one, you prove your what? I prove my worth. I, if you I lose? make up for it. It's not an option. <laughs> but if you do, though... Not an option. Well, at least you're determined not to lose. It's because I know I'm not gonna. <laughs> mm. I think you'd rather lose to fucking Joey than lose the Duke again. <laughs> no, I'd rather lose the Duke than to lose to Joey. You don't want to lose against <laughs> okay. the tutorial guy, alright? That's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> the only way I'd want to lose the Joey is if I did what I did one time that almost made me lose. I used my three-headed Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and I just went in with it on its own, and I got shit on. Because I jumped right up into the middle, I wasn't spacing attacks or anything. I just got dookied. <laughs> How long did you have to wait before you were able to awaken your Blue Eyes Ultimate? What do you mean? You said you had a Blue Eyes Ultimate, right? Yeah. How long did it take for you to awaken it? What do you mean? Could, wait, were you able to awaken it just from the get-go? Yeah. Then why, why were you suffering so bad? Because it, Well, then again, you put yourself in the middle. Hmm. Because it's a fucking 4v1, mate. And what level was the Blue Eyes Ultimate? It was like level 2 or something. Mm. It was like no more than 4. So these things actually 2-shot the Karibos. So if they 2-shot the Karibos, I'm in a good spot already. Oh shit, that moves in three and attacks in one. I didn't even realize that. So depending on what he does here, depends on how this duel goes for me. It really depends on what he does here. Determines the whole outcome of the entire thing. If he weakens everything, then I win. But if he starts picking pieces off, then it's going to be a little upsetting. This is what's going to let me turn this duel upside down. That's two out of five for one. Now the battle's even. Okay. So that thing moved, and it's attacking the other Karibo. That's fine. And then that's move number four right here. Ten damage? Oh my god, I knew these things were tanky, but that thing's immortal! <laughs> that thing is fucking immortal. They all take ten damage, we win! No matter what, they don't have eighteen attacks! Technically it'd be nineteen, because it has that extra four HP. Holy shit, we dookied on Duke Devlin. He's dookie Devlin. But should you really be bragging like this, considering he's an early enemy? Considering the fact that even with basic units, people could struggle? Yeah. Oh, this thing doesn't even oh, kill- Oh, bad to be Duke today. What happened? It must feel bad to be Duke today. It, it feels hella bad. He just did 10 damage <laughs> to a unit that you get so early on. And the fact that my dragons are strong enough to two-shot things. Fuck yeah. Like, feel bad. Feel very bad. Uh, does this redeem your loss, though? It really does. So, let's see what we can do here. I only lost one piece, too.
I truly wonder if there's like a way to do zero damage to a creature. Like I wanted to use Parrot Dragon because I like ultimately assumed it would do 10 damage to him. But in the event he would get like two or three shot, he would only be able to tap one creature. Like he could probably, like Parrot Dragon could probably one shot the Scorpions. But if he got like two or three shot, I don't know what I would have done. Because I would have wasted half my mana on him, you know? But the fact that these things are lesser than it, then, and they're doing 10 damage to it, then I would have been fine using Paradragon. It's just I don't trust it enough, you know? Oh, here we go with more 10 dam- oh, well, this one did 23. Ooh, he's got a bigger numby. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, 23. That'll take him saw, like, 6 attacks. <laughs> I wonder how you'd react if you would have saw, like, a number 40. like 300. It, it's impossible for it to do 300. What is the biggest number we've seen it do, though? The highest amount of damage I've seen was probably, I think it was like 240? 200-something? Mm. I mean, we'll do some fucking numbies uh, later on in the game, I promise you. Like, aside from tanking and just eating ass, like, I, we will do some numbies, I promise you. Um, how do I want to do this? I need to KO this Karibo. I need to I need to KO that Karibo. Cause I need to move my piece there. But I I can't really move him there without using him to KO it. So now I'm in a pickle. Oh well. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Actually, hold up. How much do we do to you? Oh, we don't do fuck all to you. See, that's, like, traditional damage. 96 at 200. Like, these things weren't strong. It was just that... You know. It happens. Alright. Let's rage hell. Bird Brigade OP. Like, I use these things through the whole fucking thing. Like, I even use them in my battle against Kaiba. And I shit on Kaiba, like, to a T. Wow. Like, I even... Like, it wasn't even planned, but I was even able to destroy one of his... Uh, capsules. Because he just didn't summon it right away. And I had pushed in and sieged him so hard... That I was just able to take it for free. I wasn't rushing it or anything. I literally took my time taking out monsters as it moved up. I wonder if you're gonna bum rush the Kraken again. Oh, fuck yeah. What? We don't take chances. Like, even if we knew we could have taken it, we don't take chances. <laughs> but, but kind of like Kraken. with, with Cunty Keith and the fucking Barrel Dragon. Like, that shit ain't gonna happen. He, don't, he doesn't deserve to use my fucking creature. And that's right, I said my fucking creature. But the Kraken, though. What about it? We don't want to hear the traditional release the Kraken bullshit. Fuck that. I'll release the Kraken on his asshole. I'll release my Kraken. <laughs> You're not going to give Mago the chance to release the Kraken, damn. No. What, is it because he'll be too cunty to try to kill the damn thing? Oh, no. It wouldn't be that. It would just be, I don't want to have to deal with it. That's well, it. Well, the first time around, you the were The first time, it was just because... Care. Well, yeah, because I know what these fucking characters could do. Like, I know when there's a special character in play. Like, even if I didn't. The only thing I'll actually do as well again is rush the blue eyes. <laughs> actually, you know what? I mean... I'll tell you what. I won't rush the important dinos. Or the, the dinos. I won't rush the important capsules. I'll siege everything on the field. And if it happens that I can kill it in the process of, then I won't. Fair? Mm. Alright. Means I won't, my goal will not be to wipe out the capsule. But if I'm close enough, I can. And there's literally next to no other, like, anything on the field, I'm wiping it out. Okay. It just felt so bad the last time the Kraken. Like, the, all the, the stage did all its changing. Nothing happened. I don't even think the stage got to change. The boat didn't even rise in that one either. 
Fucking bird brigade, man. We just shit on a man's day. He did at most, I think it was 23 or 26 damage. That was the most he did in one attack against my bird boy. We need to check the shop, though. Because I definitely want to make sure we get the forbidden head. Because we need to start leveling up the forbidden pieces. And literally the forbidden piece that we do have, we'll just switch it out with each one because I'm only going to use them every once in a while. What would you like to do? So we have those. We could take those. Can't select anymore. So the 12 that are in here, or no, we'll, we'll buy these two and then check again. So there should be what 10. What would right? you like to do? Yeah. So if there's any more than 10 when we check the shop, like we'll do? know that there's more creatures that we could buy. Because literally our deck is set for all-around game, as you can tell. It's, like, literally, other than a few fusions or creatures that we need to level up, everything's pretty much set in stone that this is what we'll use every single time. We'll probably switch up the creatures, but other than that, I mean... I mean, we'll use the Bird Brigade here just because they move far, and I want to beat Taya's ass before the fucking holiday special comes out. And I have to wait three <laughs> hours for the animation for the fucking clock to go down. So I'd rather just beat her ass as fast as possible. Spank that sexy ass, just... <laughs> and then you realize, she's in fucking middle school. FBI, open! <laughs> Like that, that's, um, the, that's the spooky Jesus. Thing. She don't look like she belongs in middle school the way they draw her. It's just, Jesus. FBI, open up! <laughs> it's just, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-uh, oh. See, what happened was, uh... I didn't read the manga? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're going with me. What? <laughs> So what's this in your search history? What is it? It says it's a tunic. <gasps> oh shit, you're coming with me. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> what's wrong with some edgy, unrealistic, realistic porn? <laughs> tunic. You said you don't read manga, right? Correct. Then why would you read a tunic? Oh fuck, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, alright, okay, how do we want to beat, beat this ass? Um, we would only have enough for one of them. I don't want to take that many turns. Um, Parrot Dragon, and then we could probably run two of them? Blue Eyes run two of them? Yeah, we'll take a Blue Eyes. Yeah, we're not going to take a Blue Eyes. I like that. <laughs> I'm really indecisive when it comes to just knowing I'm going to win. Um, we'll level up the Harpies. Fuck yeah, we'll take two Harpies. And we'll take one of our immortal boys. And we'll take this one. Just because he's not level 9. And I want to get XP. And then... How do we want to do this? Happy Fitness! Uh, we'll place one here. And then the other one right next. So they'll do their own thing. Uh, I guess this one could go up with them. Fuck it. Let them all group up, I guess. You know? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I just realized there's two petted moths. I have three wind creatures. Rip. <laughs> oh, well, I'm not... I'm, I don't think I should be concerned about two petted moths while I have three creatures. And I can pretty much beat the ass of everybody on this team. I just think it's funny that I only have the amount of AP I'll always have until late game. So if I can't summon all my creatures with my opening hand, I can't play them. <laughs> so I'm like, ah, uh, like literally, I almost did that. Like I only had like what 60 left. 
Looks like you were in a pickle. Like, AP management in New Game Plus is probably the only downside to thinking about it. Like, you have to really manage it. Ah, you got this. You don't need to manage your AP. You got this. I mean, I know I got this, but it's just the fact that I kind of have to. Huh. This means you can't be pissed drunk. Why couldn't I? Well, I mean, if you were pissed drunk, you probably wouldn't be paying attention to your placements. I don't really think I need to. Probably not in New Game Plus. You can probably well, get away with it in New, New Game Plus. Plus, yeah, you do, because you could choose the wrong monsters. You could choose a bunch of weaker monsters and then dick around too much and then get food. Like, think about that Barrel Dragon and Karibo thing. Technically, if I didn't have the shield, that Karibo would have died. That Karibo took three or er, two hits. That might have actually one-shot it. Well, then, being pissed drunk, you might have to work a little bit. Ah, uh, so, one, two, three, four... So if I just move you here, and then you here, uh, we'll wait till next turn to do anything. Come on, bitch. I'm gonna beat your ass. I ain't taking first hit. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I will not. Oh shit, he stepped up. Wait, are they still middle school by the end of the series, or are they in high school in the end of the series? They're like, near graduating. Or something like that, because I know in the newest movie, they, uh, they kind of do shit. They're, like, more grown up, so they're probably, like, at the end of it. I don't know, I honestly thought they were high schoolers. I did, too. Wow, we still two-shot shit. That's nice. We literally take two units, weaken them. And then I move that Harpy Lady into two ranges of attacks to test the Harpy Lady's durability. Because I know my, my Dragon Boy will be okay. He could probably tank. He sir tanks a lot, you know? But I don't know if the Harpy Lady says tanky. We're going to find out because my Simples attribute makes it so everything's fucking tanky. 10 wait, damage. Wait, wait. Okay, we win. May Valentine wait, wait, wait. Was May Valentine hitting on a Joey? So... Wait. So does that mean she, a full adult, was hitting on a minor? Why is she an adult? Pretty sure she's older than Joe. I'm pretty. No, okay. hold on a second. Honestly, mine might have been like in her twenties. So it might have been a little fucked up, but it happens. I mean, fuck at my, at my job. There's a fucking like thirty-something year old, like thirty-seven-year-old, fucking dating a twenty-year-old. It's fucking disgusting as hell. But you know what? Fuck it. It's gonna be like that. It's gonna be like that. Because in today's fucking world, everybody's too fucking sensitive about it. They're like, how dare you? They're just lovers. They love each other. Yeah, that's why they're always cussing at each other and they give each other death stares, right? They love each other. They're so happy, but they're together. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Unless you personally know people. Don't. don't okay, assume. she is 24. She's 24? And, and how old is Joey? Like, 17. You see. Because if they're like 17, 18, then that would make them in high school somewhere. Come on, Taya. Fight, fight, fight. Joey is 16. Oof. <laughs> I had no words but oof. I was like, 17 is like super pushing it, but it's like 16. <laughs> FBI open up! <laughs> I like that. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, if I recall right, Joey. Will... Uh. Oh, damn. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> That's all there is to say about that. Oh, come on. <laughs> Fucking three year animations. Okay. 16. God damn. That's seven years difference. Oof. <laughs> It's not about how many years, it's about no, the legal years. No, it was eight years. years, actually. My bad. See, it's not about how many years, it's about how many legal years. <laughs> She's literally one and a half legal years in the drain right now. The FBI <laughs> would have a field day with her ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, it no bueno. Mm -mm. Okay, 
Okay, Tay is 16. So technically they are all in high school, just they're like in their first or second, <laughs> like 9th, 10th grade, yeah. Oh, that poor bastard. They're like, they've only done 10 damage. I'm The only thing I'm concerned about is what the pettit moths do. That's it. It's the only creature. Oh, it. That's the only creature I give a shit about its damage. Oh, he didn't move close enough what that the I fuck could do they damage. give in the age for every character but except Yugi? You serious? What is Yugi, like 14 or some shit? They don't say. They don't say. You don't yeah. say. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll make you fucking choose, and then he'll die trying if he goes in for that attack. At least they say he was in high school, but they don't say his age. Literally, you, like, fucking hell. Well, then he's probably still around the same age. Cause he, well, yeah, like, Yami 16, was technically 16 when he died. What, Adam? Yeah, Tim. Yeah, Adam? They literally say it like a Tim. Is it really that hard? Uh, it depends on how the letters are written. If they like, if, no, I mean like if they're written on a chalkboard, they're not really hard. You could just wipe them away. But if they're like plastic letters, yeah, that's pretty hard. Fucking name. <laughs> okay, so we don't really do damage. It literally takes all three attacks to do this. Who did you attack? And then they do... They two hit us. It takes all three attacks to fuck up this one pettit moth. <laughs> That's funny. Come on, bitch! <laughs> Come on, bitch! <laughs> Go get some. Come on, boy! <laughs> Come on, boy! Don't you just squeal like a pig? <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Watch your squeal like a piggy. Alright, and we get our, our first uh, attacks in. Literally, it does not matter what this pettit moth does now. Just because whoever he attacks will not die. And then he will next turn. He can't even run away. There's not one spot he can move that I wouldn't be able to hit him at. The trifecta. <laughs> and we do it before the cunty animation. Where? <laughs> 62 damage. It would have taken him three attacks to do that. Holy shit. It takes him the same amount of attacks to do us in with an advantage that it does with us with a disadvantage. Oh, thank fuck we end this nightmare. This blasphemous nightmare. This will end this nightmare. Woo! Wow, we did that in like six minutes. Mm. Holy shit, that was like 50-something minutes when we started this. Holy shit, that, just mean, that means we're going to be like just an hour. That's pretty fucking good. We'll be like an hour 12 into this. So I was pretty fair when I said an hour 20 minutes. <laughs> Shut up, you. You didn't even say your curse word. Yeah. Oh, no. You had to get it right every time. <laughs> well, you're going to have to. What? <laughs> you won't learn today. Come on, I'm trying to beat Grandpa's ass. I want to beat Grandpa's ass. Not a creature was lost. Root water. That's the only creature we could take. Is the root water. I think the root water evolves. If I'm not mistaken. Playing with some plastic. <laughs> Let's beat Grandpa's ass! And then we'll check the shop uh, off camera and then we'll hop back in with our first battle of actually 
we'll duke it out with Weevil first. Weevil Underwood. I don't know why, every time I see those tiles turn, I always think that he has like a, um, I always think that he has like a super powerful unit, and that he can win in like two fucking turns, and I was like, what? Like, cause there's not enough tiles that were turned. But I know it does it as a reference to the tiles turn when, in an AoE around when you stand on it, kind of thing. So I actually kind of want him to start on his side, just because I could flip a lot of these tiles as he invades. Kind of like how I did last time, except it doesn't really matter if he lands on them and attacks. Uh, just because we're going poopy dookie on him. I, I, I know he has dark units, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't give a shit. So I know his units are actually pretty powerful. So we will use Parrot Dragon. Actually, fuck it. We'll use Blue Eyes here. We'll use Blue Eyes. We'll use a Harpy. Yeah, we'll use a Harpy. And then we got 40 points. I don't want to use Scorpion. I want to actually use something that I know will be helpful. Uh, I guess the Karibo would be helpful. Would it be one that gets a shield? That gives a shield or no? Yeah, we'll use one that gives a shield. Fuck it. Actually, we'll use our highest level one then. If that's the way we're gonna be. If that's the way we're gonna do it, then we'll use the one that gives a shield. And that'll be how we prep our turn too. With our three units. We'll put Blue Eyes front and center. And then we'll do Harpy... Uh right here. Probably should have switched them, to be honest. And then Karibo. And then we'll... I wonder if we have enough AP. Shit, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about the amount of starting AP. I just kind of went by monster points. MP. I only went by MP, not AP. Shit. I didn't even think about that. Also, we have an advantage against a fourth of his team. It's time to, how do you say, raise the roof. What the fuck? I don't ever remember him saying that. Um, he must have like different words when they start or something. All right, so he does have grass monsters, so. Harpy Lady, not the most useful. So 400. Shit, 210. 310. Okay, we have enough. <laughs> I almost thought that we weren't going to have fucking enough to summon all of our creatures. I'll tell you what, though. If it was like 300, we'd only be able to use Blue Eyes on a fucking Karibo. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, saved by the AP. Close. That was close. Don't give Grandpa a heart attack because you beat him in the, in the board game. We'll see. I'll retire a bitch. Literally ha almost freaking died when he dueled Seto. Well, uh, you know, Seto was kind of like emoing all over him, so. You know. <laughs> yeah, but still. Did he put in the hospital over losing a duel? Hey, th those animations, man. Holy shit, look at them <laughs> graphics. You know what I mean? So no matter where that Karibo goes, he's not going to be able to do anything in his next two Well, turns. you'll never forget Kaiba's priceless reaction when he heard about Exodia. I mean, the man looked like he shit himself. <laughs> Exodia, no one's ever managed to summon him. That's right. So I wouldn't be able to move if actually what do you attack by? You attacking an X. You know what? Fuck it. I dare you. I fucking 
dare you to attack my fucking blue eyes. How about that, bitch? Actually, I want to attack with my harpy first. So we're not going to use the second shield. We're just going to use this first one. I want blue eyes to get the experience for the kill. Actually, do you get any special modifier on whatever one you're on? Okay, so theoretically, Blue Eyes wants to be on fire because it gives him bonus attack. Well, his natural attack. This one, being on grass, reduces his tile, so I'll have to keep that in mind. What about Karibo? So it doesn't really matter for Karibo. Oh, that actually... This is actually working out pretty well. Because Blue Eyes will move over too anyway. So Blue Eyes gets tapped here. But he doesn't actually take any damage, thankfully. And then what we'll do is we'll do a little strategic retreat. And I'll give him his backup shield. Even though I don't think I'll need it. Because the last three, it's a 3v3, so... I'd rather be safe than sorry, but we'll see. Shit, actually, if I make this move... Oh wait, I could do it two different ways. Let me... Alright, hold on. Let me... Let, th let me let them make a strategic decision on who they're attacking. Because they're not going to get a kill on either of them. But whatever one they choose, they're going to be sorry for doing. That's for damn sure. Because they can, he can only attack one of them. He could literally only attack one of them. He's literally gonna have to make a very important choice here. Yeah, literally those two attacks don't even kill Karibo. Those who live by the sword die by the sword? That is true. He literally has to take another two attacks to destroy Karibo, so... How do I want to do this? Um, I'm still at advantage, so I'll take you. Um, they're gonna break Grandpa's power heart. That's a shame. Shouldn't have had a fragile fucking heart. Whoa! What did Grandpa ever do to you? He didn't give me free shit. But he gave you his prized possession, his cards. Yeah, we edited that shit after the fact, alright? It was shit. He was a bunch of dookie. Whoa. He was a bunch hey, of dookie. He still gave you Exodia. That we ended up not having after one battle, so... Oh good, we got Exodia! <laughs> uh, hey, that, that was your fault, though. Hey, it was Letting fault. someone see it, and then they're like, oh, well, fuck you. you I, mean, I mean, that was his fault. That was, that was Yugi's fault. He, he's too trusting. He's a bitch. Man. Bitches get stitches, right? Damn, son. That's cold blooded. It's fine. Well, I'll talk to Weevil about it because he's the one that did it. <laughs> hey, Weevil scared the fuck out of comeback. both of us. Hey, he had a right face. <laughs> that speaks for its fucking self. <laughs> so I thought if... you'd be intimidated by such a little guy. Okay, so you could definitely KO that. If Karibo can KO this, we'll be in great shape. No, he cannot. Um, So we lose a creature. That sucks. We literally lose a creature here. Actually, no, we don't. Hold on. We'll just do... This 
No. We can't even do that. Alright, so we'll... I know what we can do. We can do this. And... And then we'll go here. And do this. That way we don't lose Karibo. He'll be forced to attack the, either the Harpy, whose AP cost goes up by two. AP bonus, defense, and map stats, so he'll do even less. Well, slightly less. So literally, he's not going to one-shot her, and he's not. And Blue Eyes isn't even damaged. It literally took its shield hit, and that was it. I don't think he could do 110 to her. Okay, I say corrected. We lose a harpy lady, shit. Damn, son. We finally lost the fucking monster. Did he roll D20? Actually, he no, we lost, a, we lost a Karibo to Duke as well, so... No, he just had type advantage. That was yeah, all there was of that. Oh, he was standing on his uh, element tile, too. It's a fucking grass tile. That sucks. Oh, well. Sucks to suck, I guess. This will finish... This will finish the battle. Bam. Shazam. Yuki, how about letting your grandpa win? No. Fuck you. We almost inverted the board, too. Jesus. Like, we almost turned most you of them to fire. Your skills greatly, Yuki, but you held your own extremely well. The path ahead of you is still long and very competitive. Then I will kick their ass. <laughs> Ooh, and Blue Eyes leveled up by the end of that. White Lightning ability unlocked. So health, bonus AP, defense, symbol, and map stats go up. Sweet. So I know a did level you take 9 the, Did you take is. Grandpa's lunch money? Uh, not yet. Mm. Okay, now we did. And then we took his Are XP. you proud? We are. I thought you should never say you sh I thought you said you should never feel proud about that type of stuff. What do you mean? What if I Taking, ever said that? Oh, Taking an old man's bunch of money. What the fuck if I ever said that? You very clearly have me mistaken for somebody who gives a shit. No. I'm referring to you, my friend. Are you? Yes. Are you? They get a grandpa's lunch money. You make that sound like I'm supposed to remember something. Nothing. Okay, yeah, sure. Fine. Then keep it to yourself. <laughs> Alright, everybody. That is where we will call this chapter. Um, if you've enjoyed New Game Plus of Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters Area 1, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified on all future episodes. I was joined by Uriah of Gokalni, and we will see you in Area 2. Peace! Peace.